My name is Tracy. I'm a physical therapist and yoga instructor at Freedom Physical Therapy Services, and I'm at the Brookfield location. I am here to talk about something uh, yoga related that you can do for a pelvic pain. Um, yoga is very much about movement, but it's also about awareness, mind-body awareness, and breath. It turns out when you breathe, you're affecting your whole core and your stability. And so when people have pelvic pain, we find that um, either their muscles might be causing part of the pain or their pain might be causing muscle tightness. So I thought it'd be very beneficial to teach you a short little meditation that hopefully will increase your awareness um, about your body and your pelvis. The first thing you need to do is get stacked upright. So I am sitting on a, on a table or a bench or a chair, you could do that. As long as you feel like you can be comfortable and that you can be stacked, your head over your shoulders, over your pelvis. You wanna avoid a lot of the, like slouch in relaxation to be general. And you also wanna avoid a lot of like over tightness where you're lifting your chest too much and over. Um, extending your back. One way that you can, if you're on the floor, if you prefer to do a cross-legged, you can sit on a pillow and that raises up your pelvis just enough. I personally like to do meditation cross-legged. But it lifts up your pelvis just enough to make it be easy to be able to relax. But the most important thing is that you relax. So if you're in a quiet space, I invite you to find a quiet seat and something supported, maybe a pillow behind your back or under you or um, something quiet. And you're gonna close your eyes and you're just gonna notice your breath. Just let your chest drop down, your rib cage drop down a little bit in the front. Um, or if you find that you're real rounded, again, support yourself either in a chair or um, with a pillow underneath your back underneath your sit bones. And then you're just gonna allow your breath go in through your nose and out through your nose. And it's as quiet as you can make it, in and out. And what I want you to notice is that your breath moves evenly into your lungs, your side ribs, your belly and quiet exhale out all the way. And then I wanna bring you into the five pelvic breaths. The first breath, I want you to feel the sides of your abdomen, of your trunk, and I want you to feel yourself expand into the sides of your abdomen, the sides of your rib cage with an inhale And slow exhale and then breathe in the next place into your uh, hips into the back of your hips into your glutes just next to your tailbone on either side nice inhale see if you can soften the muscles in your hips and then exhale and let it go and then you're gonna breathe into your tailbone or your sacrum that sits between those hips. Breathe in and out. Softening into your jaw, your eyes, your shoulders. You're gonna breathe now into your pelvic floor, which is the space between your sit bones and between your pubic bone and your tailbone. Breathe in. out. The last place you're going to breathe is below your belly button. Just let it gently expand. Everything is passive. You're just expanding as you inhale, releasing as you exhale. So we'll go through those five breaths. You can go a couple rounds with me and then a couple rounds on your own. So you're breathing gently into the sides of your trunk of your abdomen and your and your rib cage and 
softly letting the air float into your lungs and all the way down to your hips on either side of your tailbone. And then take it to your sacrum or the, the tailbone itself. Let yourself feel, can you feel that space between your hips? In the back. And then float the air all the way down to your pelvic floor, which if you can envision it, it's like a trampoline floor. It's just lengthening and stretching as you inhale and releasing as you exhale. And finally, your low belly, just letting the air float all the way down below the belly button and release. And one more time, inhale through your sides. Inhale through the back of your hips next to your tailbone. You're gonna inhale into your tailbone itself which will maybe gently rock as you inhale forward and backward as you exhale. And then into your trampoline pelvic floor, letting all the muscles let go. Letting go is the part that it gives you freedom. Not only in the pelvic floor, but your final breath into below your belly button. Let go and find the freedom and the ease in your low belly. You can continue for another couple of rounds on your own, just enjoying the quiet your awareness focusing on your body because we want to increase your body awareness to its ability to let go and to let the breath expand and release the muscle tension. So I wish you luck in dealing with your um, muscle restrictions, your tightness, your holding. I wish you freedom in your breath and in your life. Thank you.